see me with a... Thank you. 
we are on we we are on okay hello everyone welcome back um i i am joined by ticked naira you probably know them from literally how many seasons have you been in now that's three seasons at least so yes we are back at the xp women's league community stream uh b stands for better so don't you don't you worry about the b there um we're back for a overt warriors game tonight um it's it's gonna be a great one the two top teams we are treated by an amazing game but everyone here um you know we'll, we'll chuck up the prizes have a look at what everyone's contesting for first introduce the the tournament for people who who aren't aren't familiar yet but they they sure will be after tonight so yeah a total of three thousand it's it's actually kind of crazy I, I really love it um but yeah total, a total of three thousand you know split between the top three players um two of which we, we we may see how things go tonight honestly oh i oh i kind of i kind of do but um yeah I, I i do actually um so if we if we look over at the at the ladder we can sort of see how the season's played out so far um and 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 there is there is a distinct sort of pattern already going out right here i mean you obviously see warriors on top with no losses but there's also um i think it's three total round losses over three weeks so only every week they've lost one round that's it um and overt last week they played radical rebels who are second last but that was a very close game it was a, a very close game so i kind of leaning towards warriors for tonight personally oh we're all good we yep we're coming in all right cool I think, did we have some mic issues there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, okay. We'll see what production does with that. But I think, um, I think I'm there at least. So maybe I was talking to myself and I'm going to keep talking to myself until we know that this issue is fixed. Um, <laughs> until we get the A-OK. -okay. But yeah, as, as we see, we've got war warriors at the top and they're taking on over um the round dis difference is just phenomenal here um and with a couple of uh mishaps on overt's part um they also they their only loss was to forsaken boba who was fourth as well um so if they if they lost to someone below them someone above them it might be a, a challenge but we'll see we'll see um see how tonight plays out uh, i'm just gonna make sure do we have the mic working now production i have no idea yes yeah Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. So um, if we want to take a look at the map bands as well, we can show everyone what map we're going to. Um, and I'm not too much of a, of a fan of where we're going. So no, if you want to take this one from here. <laughs> yep. Um, we're, we're, we're going over, of course, to Cafe. Um, and as Al was telling me earlier, you know, he just, he loves the, the three floors was that, you know, you love the, the vertical play. No, but in all honesty, I'm, this will be a really interesting match. I mean, we've seen over, we've seen Warriors. Um, these are both teams that have a more of a loose, a more of a cavalier sort of laze, um, type of play style. They're really going for the kills. I mean, like they're insane fraggers, um, and it'll be interesting to see both of these teams that have traditionally played um, really, really adaptably and really, really loose uh, going to a map that requires, you know, so much cohesion, so much verticality, so much utility, Claire. I mean, whoever wins this, it's going to be an interesting game for sure. Yeah, definitely. I, I kind of I do wonder, as you said, the very, very cavalier teams, which I think is a great yeah. word to use with them. Um, yeah. I, I kind of am not uh, certain how, how the... Uh, methods are going to go if warriors think okay number the, they're going up against two right here maybe they're going to play it a bit more close to home a bit safer um just confirm their kills confirm their rounds if it's defense play it a bit more passive falling back uh, if it's attack taking it step by step or if they decided well we're going to throw if, if we don't know what the plan is then how can they know what the plan is um yeah. and just go in guns blazing i mean if the grumpy grapes game was anything to go off i mean 
Um, I mean, Warriors is definitely a very, very scary team, not just because of like that initial dominance, but I mean, they're an incredibly adaptable team. Uh, we saw them lose two rounds early to Grumpy Graves, completely turned that round. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't drop a round uh, mm. after that initial two round loss. And so, I mean, Overt might be able to take some early rounds, but if Warriors adapts, if Warriors sees how they're playing and changes, if Overt doesn't respond to that, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very very good for Warriors, and so we'll see how the teams respond to that. Yeah, definitely. I think um, all we can do is, is hypothesize until we yeah. get it underway, and I think we just got a confirmation that the game is ready wow. to start, so we might uh, be able to jump in there and have a little flyover while the the teams are getting ready and see the beautiful beautiful uh, visuals of that three tier building, which I <laughs> despise so much. Do you want to try and pronounce the full name of the map? Cafe Dostoevsky. Um, oh, over that's a solid in, pronunciation. I believe Russia. Um, the name Been might give it to... away. Yeah. Been talking to the Cthulhu. Cthulhu? Been talking no. to Cthulhu. Yeah. I wish Cthulhu could actually teach me how to <laughs> pronounce it with a with a, a Russian accent or like you know genuinely the way it's meant to be. But we are we are in straight into the bands um, and Flora is off oh, the Flora's board been. immediately. I am a little surprised. I, I don't see Flores being a, like a great use here. Um, but maybe again, because I don't like the map, I'm not too certain about how it no, works, Sophia. Fair. That sort of makes sense. <laughs> um, Sophia's very common on both of these teams. A very powerful attacker. I, I mean, the floor is uh, definitely interesting. I mean, like I said earlier, with Warriors being uh, more of a Cavalier team, maybe they're saying, like, look, we have our shields and stuff, we have our play style. Um, you know, we can win you in the gunfights, just stay away with your explosive drones. That's not something we want to deal with right now. I mean, at the end of the day, um, I mean, that's what the map bands are for. I mean, they have a very, very definitive play style. If they want to go for something, if they want to have their utility, if they want to have their shields, I mean, that's a great way to uh, deal with it. Of course, we have the Valkyrie band, very, very common uh on cafe so unfortunately we might not be seeing any cheeky run run outs with the the black eye intel of course something that will be gone next season almost with the uh with the changes to how gadgets work outside yeah a very a very sad thing actually i i, <laughs> I hate going up against it but it is a very key part of valkyrie's um whole shtick to be honest um I, I am surprised with the. It, it is. It very much is. I will. I will be honest. But um, <laughs> I'm. I'm not. Okay. I, I wouldn't say I'm surprised, but I, I do see overt trying to spice it up with their band, bringing out the the Jaeger band. Pig. Um, Warden pick. I well, think. Yeah. That's. We've got a couple of well, interesting things. I mean, I don't think I've seen a Jaeger band in WL since I believe it was Elevate against Musketeers three seasons ago on Coastline, I want to say. Now, uh, similar thing again, you know, they have the wooden band. I mean, we've seen Warriors play oh, no. in Cafe. We've oh, seen War we're getting the rehost already. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Unfortunate. And the V, the V streams legacy of uh, it appears we've jinxed it. Uh, famous not going to be too happy at us. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, we, before before we started, to, to man, we sort of we were talking about the <laughs> the how siege can go when it comes to esports and, and how volatile the servers can be. The rehost, but we haven't had them over here, so we're okay. Um, I guess that's. We can't say that anymore. Um, Shots at teammates you see over here. It's that team affection, team bonding. Just while there it is, yeah. Restart. No, but like with the Warden Man, I mean, it's definitely unconventional, but with a team as aggressive and coordinated as the Warriors is, I mean, maybe the Jaeger ban is exactly what they're looking for. I mean, they're looking here, they say, look, we've got a Warden. As long as we don't get grenade or anything, you know. Sorry. Yeah, I think uh, the rehost is still still happening, still getting people in the server. Um, I think, yeah, yeah. Well, so we're, we're still gonna we're still gonna have to wait a bit. But um, what I, I I do think the warden came out uh, is a bit of a target, like a bit of a, a direct aggression towards uh, overt, since overt have been known to bring Ying often 
there is a lot of ying um, there are a lot of ying plants with ying's utility being able to hard breach walls now there's not much you need especially if you're attacking top floor um, you can just use a secondary hard breach you've got two of them you can open up two walls uh, line of sight at least um, that's vaultable you'll be able to get into christmas without any issues i think um, that's where the sort of warden came in was to counter the ying well, plants even even if they aren't reading that much into it i mean with the jaeger ban um they definitely want to have someone that can see uh in the in the barrage of flashes uh, mm -hmm. as they come but yeah i mean as i was saying before the rios happened um i mean warriors is a really really aggressive team if they say look we've got our warden we can sustain the flashes as long as we don't get grenade we have the intel if we win this on defense and we go and attack i mean i'm expecting to see um you know the ash the amaru the ying yeah um, just really going for that 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 um the, the way that overt uh sorry that warriors has perfected their rush it's it's mm. it's, it's almost an art form <laughs> yeah for sure i think the only standard attacker i will expect warriors to bring will be along the lines of sledge um yeah. you know we'll, we'll have the standard rushes but rush you know rush attack yeah. operators can switch yeah. depending on whoever's confident on whatever gun i think one of the standard picks we'll see is sledge just to get the vertical play making sure they can scare the defenders but yeah th i think you're right with with the sort of attacks we're going to see out of out of warriors um but yeah i i, I really don't know how warriors will be able to defend that sort of christmas push um i didn't yeah. see any wamai on the board i um i don't yeah, I don't either. See, so, I don't see yeah so i think they were fine with the nades coming out um there's no one can stop them i did see an aruni though so they might have tried try to funnel uh the nades through aruni gates but even then you can throw one flash and it's all going to one drone or you know, anything or you just throw a person at it it works the same way <laughs> You know, uh, if your nade is more important than, I think, 40 health, uh, you may as well go for it uh, if you're safe enough. But, well, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, Warriors, not only have they um, shown us that uh, Shift W has its place <laughs> in the competitive um, scene, but uh, at the end of the day, it's also this 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 idea of um a war of attrition that um, yeah. Warriors has really taken on, on like, um, taken on. We see a lot of women's league teams. Um, all the individual players are just not willing to sacrifice, I guess, themselves, even if it could benefit the round. But I mean, we've seen time and time again Warriors having plant down and saying, look, we're winning the round. We're just going to run. You don't have enough bullets. You know, exactly. It's a, it's a 1v3, 1v4. And it's scary. It's scary. And it's something that, um, well, I mean, if you want to go against them, it's it's something that the other WL teams got to learn, you know? Like, hey, I'm going to die here, but maybe it wins the team the round, you know? And that's exactly. something that the Warriors yeah. has really, really taken on board. If you go down, but take three people with you, or just, hey, yeah. if you're on defense, simply stop the defuse from going down, that can win your, your, your team the round, and in, in turn, the game sometimes. But um, I think, you know, we've, we've sort of really established how the attacking side of warriors work and how they are a very confident team with their attack i think is the most important part they they know how it works and they're very happy with how they want things to go um but we on the other side overt aren't a stranger to their attacks either i, I think we we sort of my my sort of i i went straight into warriors personally yeah, but i think yeah. you know even though they did get they had a close game last week um, it was very close, closer than they would like. They were able to get their footing. They hopefully learned from back then. And their first map, I believe, the first game of the oh, yeah. season was Cafe. And their attacking was powerful. They were able to Absolutely. decimate and just walk through the map confidently, having someone situated upstairs most of the time for you know any any lower level attack and just piece by piece dismantle the defense if they are able to adapt that for warriors defense we might see a bit of a show no definitely i mean at the end of the day that biggest thing is i mean warriors not just as a as a team but that incredibly uh terrifying lineup is something that mm -hmm. um sort of you know their legacy precedes them going to their the, these games and at the end of the day uh you know there's a reason why you don't see 
uh, five people shift doubling in CL or Pro League. I mean, yeah. At the end of the day, um, it's just not something that's sustainable. And right now, Warriors is benefiting off their legacy, off their reputation. And I mean, you see it. You see it. Teams are afraid to go against Warriors, you know. You see anyone with Warriors, even if it's a 3v1 or 4v1, people are scared. People are scared to peak anyone on this roster. And that's something that you gotta get rid of. You gotta get rid of that fear if you wanna if you wanna go toe to toe against a fearless team like Warriors. You gotta abandon that. You're gonna say, "Look, I'm I'm just as good as they are." You, you know, you gotta have the mentality that you're better than them, and, mm-hmm. and you gotta go for it. You you cannot have any hesitation because you know you can bet your ass that Warriors is not gonna have that same reservation. Yeah, I, I 100% agree. I think a lot of the game in in this league, particularly. <laughs> but in siege in general as well is mental um if if you can win the mental game you can take it a lot further than obviously if you're chalked and you're you just weren't sure how to approach any situation um you'd also mentioned um you know legacy preceding the skill of each of those players and i think you know both of the teams have players that definitely have to fit who fit that role yeah. i mean for over namely i think one person that everyone thinks of is Kortari, who can carry herself and <laughs> 10 10 of herself through a lot of situations um cafe is a very strong map for her and she is that person who can go into a situation have fun with it and still come out thinking all right it's a 1v4 but i, I can i can do that i can take that on um she she is is um you know i think uh the one who might make the difference in this game um with the support of her team of course she won't be able to do it alone yeah. um, <laughs> just 1v5 you know, yes that's just, everyone she, 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 she definitely could not do that <laughs> she definitely could not do that but um i definitely think she could be the spearhead that breaks through warrior's armor um They're definitely but, but yeah. also at the same time i mean as much as people look to warriors as this team of five terrifying players i mean you look in their play style uh, this is a team that has done something that, um, interestingly, few WL teams have actually done, and that is they do not play. Um, um, sorry, almost in contrary to their reputation, they do not play like a team of five just incredibly mm-hmm. goaded solo queue players. They play off each other. They're going for the refrags, and at the end of the day, that is also what makes them so dominant. Uh, you see, you see incredibly powerful WL teams that are just not going for the refrag, that are not watching flank drones, making these mistakes that I mean, Warriors is just capitalizing on. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think. Um, oh, we're back in too. That's great. Uh, yeah, I, I think we'll, we'll be able to see that in action right here. But um, they are a team who who I enjoy, I enjoy like seeing anyone who play. Um, when they make the smart decision, there are some teams who are really good making aggressive decisions, but not really good playing passive. And the reverse, we're players who play a lot better passively, but they aren't really confident enough to go on that aggressive nature. And Warriors can do it both. Uh, we are, we'll be seeing the Warden again and the Once Lion. It. Well, they have to because of the rehost. That's true. I think, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the round did start. Think, so I yeah, they kind right. of have to. Um, they did the same six picks, so. Um, Yes, that is 100% fair. Yeah, I mean, uh, and this is the interesting thing I was sort of going to comment on. It was interesting, you know, you see the Nomad 6 Lynth Lion. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, um, I almost sort of brought up, but you know, they've sixed off, they've just brought it out. Is Nomad is just not an operator that you need to to have the capability to watch length zones. At the end of the day, fundamentally, she is wasted your priority. Now, for a lot of teams, um, whether or not they're too scared or whether or not they simply um like are worried about their flank i mean absolutely there's no shame done in bringing up no red if you feel your flank zones are watched by me like overt and warriors are both incredibly competent teams they're not going to do something like not have flank zones and so um yeah i i, I don't think we will uh probably see a nomad unless someone gets uh, unless someone gets pinched by a nasty flag but um that's sort of one thing that's sort of related to a lot of other teams that are interesting to see about. i mean every season we see huge strides in how wl is played um i'll be interesting to see um if nomad will still be so prevalent in all these teams rosters once like the overwhelming majority like have the capability to essentially watch flank drones yeah um i 
I, yeah, I do think we might see one uh, later on. Um, it might just be to shake things up. Um, but yeah, I think if if any teams can go without a nomad and rely on, the, you know, if they spot aroma on the on the cameras, ping a lion drone, chase after them, pinch them, able to flush them out that way. Um, but I, I kind of think we will see one later on. Just the way that the map works, it's very reliable to have one if you're able to capitalize on it. Um, I am, I, I'm pretty sure we just did see uh, AJ try to go for a spawn peak at the start of the round two, but no one spawned over there, so we might see it, it later, but um, yeah, I'm already got beans down you. there and taken out so quickly by time for pie. Uh, that was the dread drop, instantly traded out. Um, I mean, a Rooney's lost her Rooney, but if people are really seeing just how devastating that attack of EMR is on defense. I mean, its DPS is just insane, especially in the hands of a player that, you know, can hit their shots. It's it's lethal. It's terrifying. Oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, um, I, I, I always saw it as the gun, you know, whenever, whenever someone asked me about the oh should i go roni should i go uh mark 14 i'm like oh unless you're gonna unless you're planning on taking long engagements um i would always bring the roni but you know if you can click fast enough that thing is a powerhouse no no 100 percent and we're seeing more <laughs> of it more. wow oh this uh, combination i don't even know what to say. No, uh, Ozzy unfortunately put a stamper and getting the two kills. Got a little couple's ace over there and the three and the two. And I mean, also, I mean, this really goes to highlight, um, it, it almost goes with, like, it almost does not need saying, but I mean, it again showcases, I mean, Warriors is not a selfish team. Um, mm. We don't have any people chasing aces. Fundamentally, they are here to win and they are showing exactly what they're willing to do to do that yeah i i um and i also i also think that that last player right there um mm. from aj i believe it was Please. is just a really sort of it sort of outlines exactly how warriors can go on their attack and their defense um no six pick. I didn't think like there might have been a six pick coming in, but maybe they just ran out of time. Yeah, ran out of time. Sort of maybe discussing in the call, like you know, uh, should I? Someone, should I, should some, I, someone oh. went to Havana. My guy, you know, like oh, well, yeah. I don't know what they're going to pick, but you know, just sort of Bomb by on the guy. fence, and hey, yeah. you don't have a lot of time to pick. We're, we're all done. We're all done. Oh, hundred, oh, all the time. <laughs> Too <Yeah>. many times. <laughs> But yeah, I think that swing out into Christmas, out of Pixel, just getting that double kill, knowing that, oh, I know the players there, I got a kill, I can fall back to the rest of my team, but the confidence in our own ability just to keep going, and say, yep, yeah, alright. And Ten seconds remain. here we are looking at something that Warriors has done time and time again, and Five something that really insertion. can be showcased on a map like Cafe, of how Attackers spread out they the are. Bomb. They are extending, it's not enough that they are saying, hey, we're not gonna let you get sight no we're not like, gonna let you get the entire floor in fact we're gonna play someone above you're not even getting in that building and this is just a message that 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 warrior sets i mean i've seen all of these players on cafe time and time again and it's a scary thing a map this big if you if you lose sight of any of them they're probably behind you yeah that's <laughs> and people say siege isn't a horror game warriors are here to prove otherwise honestly um as the drones come out but not enough intel to be gained for a push type of fight just just making sure everyone stays outside i think um over to trying to really get that intel and make a sort of push based on it like let, they did last time they had they had a drone in front of beans on the ash um but the, the droning didn't come fast enough or the, or the reaction time didn't come fast enough beans was taken out almost just again do they see the I don't, I don't know if the mozzie was misdroned or if that fight was just taken, but either way, you know, mozzie's got a little bit of health skimmed off and so is Ash, they're a bit worse for wear, but you know, both these players are far from out of the game, so... Yeah, there was gonna... definitely some, some shots take, like, traded yeah, back and traded. forth there, but uh, not enough to get a complete kill. It's the white pressure, obviously, Clefairy wants to... There it is! Just knows, she just knows. Alright, uh... That was and... that was on the head. That was uh, Cortari. What are you doing there? That's a bit uh, was, uh, accurate for a while. Can we boss falls there? No, yeah, no, we might like... have to. Uh, and as she, she did gets not taken know that there's a second player. And I mean, th that's exactly the thing that again, like I, I sort of touched up on that a team like Warriors is going to exploit. I mean, 
They don't have the nomad. You gotta have the flank drones. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 like I said. I mean, I personally think that the nomad is a waste of utility, but there's no, there's no shame in bringing it. There's no shame in bringing it. I'm much better. You run that. You sacrifice a little bit of util, and you don't get flanked like that. And that's exactly what happens. I mean, we've got all the players of overt really, really active here. Um, could, um, uh, and we, we don't really have anyone in drones, of course, with Tartari. Uh, with Kotari dying, she'll be able to do that. Um, interesting, there's no really play of the, the lion. They're not sort of looking yeah. to burst, just trying to cut off the roamers. AJ is going to get it. Sight. Wait, Psycho's already in sight. Yeah, not affected by the smoke. Are but knows their team is not able to... Oh, man, I don't, he's not able I to break. No. Oh no, They're just seeing the shoulder. Lion is a hard operator to attack with the hitbox not exactly lining up perfectly. But Zara able to claim two. That's the second one, that's Aussie down. I think the round is definitely leaning towards over there. And we go, Beans cleaning it up. I want to see the perspective of the smoker. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. I was honestly quite confused. And I mean, that is the biggest weakness against being extended this far is... All it takes is one Hibana to say, you know what, I'm going to go in sight, I'm going to plant in the smoke, and I'm going to stick it, and, I mean, hey, uh, what do you do about it? Because, <laughs> what, I mean, you have all of the bird holes, you have all of the lines of sight, you have all of the utility, now suddenly working very, very against you as a defender, trying to retake the site. the element of time is gone, you've got the weaker guns as a defender, and... I mean, likely you just don't have the level of intel this late in the game that, I mean, the attackers need to locate it's just and defuse not a situation you want to be putting yourself in, especially not on cafe. Yeah, I, um, that, that is, yeah, I, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to push that after the loss of the vertical play, but I, it, it did work out in the end for them. It looked like being sort of claimed enough room upstairs that gave them enough confidence to just walk in behind the bomb to just smoke it yeah the, the smoke was... canister just unfortunately not reaching um, and i think uh warriors were confident that it was reaching 10 seconds but, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, they just didn't realize and you know i was a bit confused with that initial line i was like look 30 seconds left we're gonna see the line we're gonna see a burst and i didn't see any action and then Attackers only right at the end did i realized hold on we've got a hibana hibana's in the middle of sight she's planning we've got our attackers watching flanks this is this is an execute right in front of us and i didn't even see it happen <laughs> there are yeah this is exactly um basically <laughs> what we saw from our point of view um i i was honestly going to mention the fact that there was not a lot of usage of the lion up until that moment so we had um you know kotari trading back blows and kotari fell but um you know aj was able to get back to sight essentially before the lion charge really stopped her um in any way so she's completely safe able to get back to the safety of the team um and there's no capitalization of that lion I, I don't know if there was a delay in the communication or if they were deciding oh i'm going to save it for the later of the rounds you know kotara is already dead you know the lion's not going to save that but i'm not sure exactly what happened there but um maybe the lion charge was for something else um perhaps, we just perhaps didn't see it. they just got opportunistic they had a lion they said let's go for it. i mean yeah uh and, and this was thing about the adaptability i mean uh, warriors are still obviously running a similar setup but you can see they're a lot closer to site they they're probably talking team comms how on earth did an attacker just walk into the middle of site and stick that plant what is going on and you can see they're all ready that is one thing about warriors is you know you might be able to fool them once you might be able to pull a fast one but you know they'll be damned if you're gonna do it again and they're doing everything they can to make and sure that doesn't happen and we've got the first pick already and and, and they're just gonna back off because they know look it's a minute 10 on the round I mean, attackers have lost uh, I've already lost an attacker, they've used up a little utility, we've got full defender utility, we've got the roamers, only now is the vert being taken. I mean, I mean, Overt, I mean, this is definitely far from unwinnable, but Overt definitely has to go for the aggression. I mean, we've got everyone quite disjointed, and Warriors isn't going to contest it because they don't need to. They have the numbers advantage, they have the utility, I mean, the smokes are on the table, and there we go. AJ infamous for her blind nitros. I don't know if it was one there, but I mean, it, it just goes to show. I mean, 
Warriors are going to go up and fight them. They're saying, look, this is our site. You can take it from us. And with 30 seconds, I mean, they do have the line. They do have the buck. But Overt just overtly to be more this They're still playing for the spread. I mean, I know they're trying to just play for their picks, but... Warriors is just not going to peak them. And they don't have to. They know this. 15 and, seconds uh, left. And here, here we go, oh, push. getting another kill, they've got the smokes coming up, they're running straight into sight, and they're all watching the door, it's absolutely <gasps> lethal, and a team kill as well, maybe we've got oh. a little bit of double agency, but unfortunately, I, there was just nothing they could do. No, secretly, secretly, I think Sarah was just uh, fed up, and was like, you know what, no, I just need to take out my anger somewhere. Um, no, and decided just to Not take out Not over a game if there's no TK, absolutely. A hundred that's their they're, that's their way of bonding surely that, to shoot I, each other I, i'm pretty sure that's like their motto underneath the logo as well it, you know, yeah it's in latin you know <laughs> yes <laughs> i mean here we go i mean the jaegers band they've got the wamai on the table here we have it i, I, I and I, and this is this is what goes to show i mean with the flores off the table it's it's interesting that they would ban the floor as saying, hey, we don't want this utility cleared, but hold on, we're gonna ban the Jaeger. Maybe they are just that. Attackers need to locate and defeat. With a rush like this, Overt needs to take rounds. Frankly, that is yeah. what Overt needs yeah. to do. They cannot lose a lot of rounds on this, because if they do, if they don't learn how to adapt, that Warriors rush is lethal. And may maybe, you know, maybe, I mean, Warriors has been doing this for for seasons, uh, different players and different teams, I mean, a couple of them are infamous for their aggression, and so maybe we've got all wrong, maybe Overt knows what they're doing, maybe Overt knows what they're doing, we've the game, we've got, we've got a, we've got a few cards up our sleeve, and we're gonna show them, but, you know, that's, that's rounds and rounds away right now, we're just gonna see what Overt is going to do to attack, we're going back up to that top floor, where that DMR was absolutely lethal, I still running it again and honestly with the amount of utility that warriors has overt needs to overt needs to clear it and, and this is exactly what i was saying before overt being a team that's so loose that is going off these kills if warriors and they have shown it start bringing more utility unless overt learns to actually clear it before they go for their first it's just not gonna go well yeah uh, definitely, I, I, I do want to highlight the fact that even with a Jaeger ban, even with an Ash every round, six flashes every round, and four nades, there hasn't been a single nade kill for over. They haven't been able to use those nades effectively, and I, I just think Warriors are just too slippery to, to get that. But Kortari, Kortari got the first big tie this time. Denying the DMR supremacy, you know, I mean, Kortari... Uh, last season was renowned for her cheeky DMRs, and maybe she's sending a message, you know, I'm the only one that gets Attackers to play the DMR on this server. <laughs> there we have it, just absolutely taken out early on. But um, even with that early pick, I mean, Warriors Resolve is just unafflicted. They've already taken up their positions, they've moved around. Uh, Overt still needs to clear a lot of utility, and they've got a minute 30, which is enough time to do everything they need to do, but it's certainly not enough time to, you know, screw them up. Here we go, they're yeah. already working on it, they're getting the codes up, they've got their oh, flashes. we might see the C4, the Blanche C4 that the AJ Nitro, uh, they've cleared the Goyo though, so... I mean, if they have the intel, Overt knows how far they can push up if they've droned it out, but we're gonna see exactly what they're here, we've just got the passivity, and, and there's no flank. I mean, Warriors is just not going to contest them, they're gonna hold the site because they know how hard it is to attack Cafe without clearing anything else. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm, I'm actually a little excited that Pi, this might sound weird, that Pi died <laughs> first, because last time Pi was just able to dismantle the attack. We couldn't see how the defense actually was meant to play out. And now we actually get to see the gears turning and the, the everything in motion. There's the there ball, it is. Nitro, AJ already equalizing the score. There's 36 seconds. Sarah is going to get a pick. With the line, Ash has to clear the utility. Kotari still has the grenades, but unfortunately, if they don't get this, if they don't get this bathroom present soon, and they do something about it, they're just not going to win. Here we have the few grenades going out, but the Wamai just finally coming in clutch. 
and overt is held here. They have 18 seconds. They have the numbers. They have the utility. But there's just nothing they can do. They are getting the picks. They take it. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry for doubting. We have Psycho just running in, mowing everyone down. And at the end of the day, I mean, Siege is still an FPS and... Overt is, Overt is here to say, I mean, they say, look, you have your utility and you have your Surya Gates and your My Disc and your Malusis, but we've got bullets. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> yeah, there was a lot going on. I, I think um, there was, at that moment, uh, just the the mentality of... Because Psycho is the generally, as we as we see right now, the diffuse the holder, the, the planter, the, the one who just claims that tiny little space on site puts down a little little lunch box and gets out of there um and that time I, I think something bombs. clicked and there was just like i'm gonna frag like we yeah. need to frag at this point and she just went in and did what she, she instinctively had to do and it worked um i think Fucking. yeah we, I, i'm not i'm not sure if there's a reliance on that aruni um that aruni has to stay up to hold a certain area and just taking out aruni early gives that opening that uh, warriors can't allow but overt uh i it, i might be wrong and um chat i'm sure you help me if i am wrong but i think overt's the only team to take two rounds of warriors <laughs> um <laughs> a grumpy grapes took two rounds Unfortunately, oh, they I'm did. Gonna have to they yell took, at you. Yes, yes, they took two. Yes, um, then I, I was like, but, okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but, the, like, definitely. They have equal first. They have equal first. I mean, we're not seeing, like, a two-round slip-up and Warriors adapting. We're seeing these yeah. two titans of the game going head-to-head. -head. Like you said, with, I mean, with the standings being so uncertain, I mean, RDC had unlucky matchups, but with them going so close to overt, them being at the bottom of the leaderboard, maybe when we see them going against other teams, maybe, you know, maybe we see a little bit of an upset, maybe we see a little bit of a position change, and it'll be really interesting to see where teams place as we get really into the meat of the season. Yeah, I, I think I think there is definitely the, the change that they, they need to make. Um, mm. And it, it seems like the attack has, it, it is very standard when they know the site's upstairs, they need to get into the hatches, they want to get their angles and drop through. Uh, fly through the windows if they have enough space um, and if it's downstairs they sort of just pinch from uh, up like train and from uh, bakery and go in through there and it seems like it's the same thing and warriors know what to expect I mean overts really knows exactly what you want to do exactly like you said I mean we had three people on drones they have all this info and you see everyone setting around the move it seems to be overt sort of hallmark is to just is they're gonna sit there they're gonna clear and they're gonna really show you uh what it means by that you know that uh 20 second meta you know they're they're sitting there they're playing the utility they're not gonna take any trades but when it comes down to the wire we have seen time and time again every single member on overt knows how to use the weapons in their arsenal and even if they aren't clearing the shields they can certainly hit their heads yeah, um, and, and look like, oh, and Kotari <laughs> falls oh, no, as we, as I was, oh no, oh, well, it's okay, Kotari did take the entry pick last round four over, so hopefully over at I able to, you know, recover from this, hopefully the confidence hasn't fallen and Sarah's just confirmed that taking out, yeah, taking out AJ, equalizing the numbers. Um, in fact, just we sure do have time for Pi still on the board, so we might have a cheeky 4k. And you can see Overt is just so worried about that flank. But as you can see, well, as we can see, and unfortunately they can't, Warriors is, is being sort of uniquely passive. Maybe it is just Cafe, or maybe they know how Overt plays. But I mean, it's 26 seconds, we've got no roam. Ozzy's gonna start out the gunfire and we're either gonna see a play or a massacre i don't know what's about to happen psycho sort of evening it out they have 15 seconds going back down and they have site control warriors has the numbers advantage they have to the intel they're gonna keep it oh man but the flick between the two oh who is the oh the Lion, the oh lion no, on the heaven, and that and that's exactly <sighs> the issue. Oh, Overt can win their gunfights, but it's 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 gambling to sit yeah. there for so long and to just 
to to try and send out the 10 seconds it works time and time again sure but i mean here look we've already got like a change up we've got a pulse we've got a mozzie we've got a mute that's three potential nitros warriors yeah. have said look you're sitting on top of the building you're sitting above in train you're getting burnt for two long and they've had enough actually no we see the pulse switch yeah, so there we go. they're going Defenders back to maybe a bit of more traditional fortress style hold. but if anything i mean it's definitely the mind games until they drone up their castle until they find out if anyone six pick and see what's going on attackers have located a bomb they're gonna be scared and yeah, yeah. that fear might be all it needs because if you're in that 20 seconds you're in that 30 seconds and you don't know there's a pulse on the board you're gonna hesitate before you, you know, walk above side or before you go for that plant. You're gonna be listening out for that nitro, definitely. Yeah, for sure. I think um, as well. I was a little surprised uh, with the first few rounds that Psycho was not bringing in. Um, yeah, I was about to comment on that. If it's a, if yeah, you saw it. it's a very common thing. You like we've watched overt psychos on Yang. It's just how things go. Well. She's a very happy Ying and player. Um, if you look at the Warriors roster, they do not have the yes. warden. They have the one mind, but as everyone knows, it's going to bring it up to the door. And if you are playing close, if Psycho gets that candela just right, that radius might be just what they need. Wakari already taking out an early pick. This could potentially be huge for Overt if they play their cards right. I will say that, you know, the Mozzie is, is someone you can sort of let go of in a, in a hold. If, if they're down, or if they put all their pests down, uh, unfortunately you won't be able to move those drones around, but you know, a lot of the times you don't anyway, the, drone, the drones get shot by the attackers. Um, that's sort of the, the player you can lose here. Um, well, at the end of the day, I mean, the Mozzie drones are definitely powerful, but their main purpose is to deny that late game intel and they're still going to do that even without the mozzie on the table yeah yeah for sure i think you know they're, they're playing a bit more uh, like as you said fortress strategy in in there scaring them with the uh the pulse um but i i i, I am actually the same still surprised we are seeing the Ying now um but we aren't seeing the lion anymore goodbye sarah off the board taking it off my aussie um as i was saying the the Ying, I would have expected more of. If there's no Jaeger, you know that they have to bring a War Mine to stop it. Um, and the Swink. I'm out. No? They're going to Oh my god, Ozzy, I don't know how the Ozzy wasn't able to claim that kill. Psycho wasn't even looking in the right direction. <sighs> like oh. two ships passing in the night. And I mean, Intel is just so powerful. I have. I. <laughs> I I, I'm flummoxed. I mean, Baki's gonna get a pick out. They've already put Warriors in a 2v4. They've got Psycho with all the candles on the table. I think, still think we've got the burn pressure. Warriors needs to pull up a clutch out of their sleeve right here because for once, Overt's got time on their side. Time, intel, and numbers advantage. It's definitely looking like an overhead round right here. And but Overt is going to extend a little bit too far. The hubris might be Warrior's salvation. All they need to do is get the intel, play for these double swings. There's nothing Warriors can do, but they're going to take their ones. It doesn't matter because Psycho is absolutely lethal on that Ying as you are talking about before and Mons is already getting Attackers hit. 30 seconds, post-plant, all the vert have eyes so on the it's diffuser. a 1v3. Attackers need to protect it. I guess we see what Mons has to do, but I mean, we've got the vert control, we've got the site presence, we've got people watching off site. There's, there's really not much he can do here unless Overt gets greedy, but they're not going to. They're going to play their positions and they're going to take another round. That's a 3-3 half, which uh, I honestly, from a reverse perspective, would be very happy with. Um, that does, in fact, make the, the, the team... There we go, the there we rounds. go. That's the unprecedented three yes. rounds on Warriors. And uh, as you mentioned before, isn't Warriors, hasn't Warriors only lost three rounds total up until this point, if I'm correct? I, I, I do believe so. Um, and here we go, we will just yeah. double it in one night, overt is definitely looking to make an upset. I mean, the roster is newish, but all the players aren't. They're familiar faces, they're tried, Attackers and they're need true. to locate and defuse and, bombs. I mean, they're here to show that say, like, exactly what they can do together. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, it's just, 
and I am very I am excited we're going to see reading uh, dining which is generally a tertiary site we you know tend to see what warriors pull upstairs downstairs then uh, reading but you know yeah. over it, deciding to throw a spanner in the and, and play it anyway um, it is commonly held upstairs like <laughs> yeah. like and a normal upstairs exactly hold and then, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be saying. The yeah. one thing that I am slightly confused by is Overt isn't bringing the smoke or the chunker. They do have the echo for that little bit of plant down. They have the mozzie for the nitro. I mean, yes, absolutely. You need to make um, you need to make um, changes in your strategy. You can't just run rank defaults. But you know, we see time and time again the absolute power couple, mute and mozzie with the shotgun and SMG playing down below but you know that's just not something we have here uh the downside to that is of course if warriors over aggresses here which they don't really look like they're doing just yet they might not be able to deny everything long enough but the plus side is of course i mean you've got you've got a lot of ammunition on that team you've got You've got the Wamai's gun, you've got the you've got the MX4, you've got I'm assuming the Roni and the Commando's a crap weapon. Echo's got a solid decent uh got a decent kit. And whether or not Rooney's running the DMR or the Roni again. This is just a team of five operators with insane guns. So I, I I'm I'm in, I'm intrigued to see exactly what happens when these firefights start starting. Warriors is definitely playing quite passive, which is just something we don't see all too often, but maybe they are being a lot more cautious because they have said, look, uh, this is a team that's going head to head with us. We're not going to get away with rushing site. I and mean, they're doing due diligence. They're joining out. They're clearing utility. But unfortunately, they don't find Kotari already getting the first pick. And we'll see if Warriors is able to even this out or if they're just going to drop like flies. Yeah, I think I think the first uh, thing that po was pointed out to me that this was a, a fragging defensing side um, is the the alibi, which you know alibi is a good option. She has uh, she's got shield, which is very very <laughs> crucial a lot of the times. That's why most people bring her. But she's also got a great gun, um, and uh, prismas aren't that bad. Um, but so yeah, as I said before, we could have swapped it out for a mute or something if we you know because we have the echo shield as well if we wanted that way. Um, someone with a bit more utility, but leaning towards the speed and the 1.4, a uh, 1.5, sorry, um, on the MX4 um, is, is probably what the choice was in the end. Warriors are really running out of time. We're hitting the 30 second mark. I mean, if they wanted to, I wouldn't recommend it directly, but they could fall back. They could really total. They have this five numbers advantage. Warriors just doesn't have any control on top floor. And despite the, oh, they're getting a few picks. They're evening it out. And on their retreat, they're actually getting executed. Warriors was just waiting. I, I, I'm at a loss for words. In, in, in the space of a few seconds, the seconds retreat left. was absolutely taken down. We've got a 3v3. I mean, they have the, the 14 seconds. The they don't have the plant denial. Sarah's going to stay in the game with the echo kills. And the, there the we go. Just showing, like, look, you're going to get those couple picks on the shore, but they're not going anywhere. And... and and that's the thing, these teams are just so incredibly adaptable. We had overt recognizing they had the numbers advantage, going back to site. I mean, Warriors caught them with their backs to them and got two easy picks straight away. We've got the 3v3 and immediately overt says, okay, hold on. This is a 3v3. We don't really want a turtle here. We're still gonna have a little bit of space. You know, you had your Echo playing underneath the new balcony. You still had that little bit of a spread, not really taking the fights. And it's just amazing watching how the entire play is changing time and time again in the space of seconds as each team is, is, is ripping off each other. Yeah, Defender, I, I honestly, I kind of think the Warriors are getting in their head. Um, uh, sorry, I'm getting Overt's getting in Warriors' head, but like Warriors are letting it get to their head. Um, as soon as you know, they were playing passive Attackers and they were just taking it, taken out by going too slow, I think, um, piece by piece, the, or their attack was able to be destroyed. Um, but as soon as AJ just thought, okay, uh, we've got to go in and make something of nothing, 
uh, it started working as soon as they started that aggressive nature it started working it's a little too you know, too little too late but it was working for them um, and that just Ten ended up sooner so that when it was time to slow down and it was time to figure Five out where those remaining. people had retreated to they were able to capitalize but there was more Attack intel of where the defenders left to they had all the intel before they were able to get the picks then they lost the intel and they weren't able to you know recover with you know 10 seconds left on the clock there's not much you can really do um i think they just gotta oh, find their footing oh, very good. early we've got we've got three people close to each other i mean it, it might not be anything but uh uh, I'll be intrigued. Oh, oh I'm, I'm, gonna my get eyes are on Kotari, yeah. Ah, uh, she's gonna back off. That would have been really something if she got the free game. You know, Kotari's, you know... Attackers have located a bomb. As, as much as I would love to see it, you know, she probably made the right call. She didn't have the intel. She didn't know people were watching this. She's gonna fall. She's gonna stay in the game. Honestly, I think Kotari did that just to scare them. Which is the right choice. Potentially, I, like, potentially. Like, you punch it, <laughs> Sav immediately flicking onto that door and just never yep. letting your eyes off it. Um, which the is PTSD you, you have to do. of repelling next to white and just hearing that barricade break and knowing yep. you can do nothing about it. Yeah, exactly. So I think it was just a little bit of a, a heart attack for them, which, which would have worked. Um, I, I'm sure it would have. It would have worked on me every single time. It doesn't matter how many times, even if I knew it was a fake still would have worked on me um i think that's all that was there but Kortari just I, I just see her moving a lot downstairs um, and that's just her play style her defensive play style she likes to pop up absolutely everywhere and scare absolutely everyone but a minute 30 and no warrior is in the building um we've but got, we've got is, the first grenade kill there is beans out that's of the building and into a coffin by a nade AJ is just lethal with her explosives. Someone needs to put that girl on a watch list somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to see a C4 coming out from Gotari below. There it is, the pre place at least. There it is. No, it won't. If it's, it was stayed there for a little longer on the pre place, it might have. But uh, looks like Time for Fire is just trying to get the angles onto different, different cocktail areas. I think they do know Sarah's there. Uh, Sarah just looks at someone through the wall. That's uh, a moss oh. file, please. <laughs> Getting shot. Um, but yeah, I do think they know that she's there. She's pinned down and is going to sneak away, get to another position. Yeah, well, I mean, once once people know where you are, I mean, I love the UMP, you know, but the UMP against any other gun. I oh. do not believe it. <laughs> Unfortunate. Sam is just, you know, I think she's just saying, look, I don't want you stealing my thunder. 20 seconds. Wait, I we might really see a plant down. Yeah, we're going to see the plant. The plant's going down. <laughs> oh, it's just already... They just crashed on the side. They, no they defenders watching it. There it is. And, goes down finally, but the defuse is already warriors, down. Warriors can get above. Warriors can play the skylight wall off the site, and they're going to hold it like lambs to the slaughter. Overt is going to go into their crosshairs. They have been prepping this next step up the castle barricades. All the utility oh. is working against the defenders, and Sarah's caught with the UMP. There's only so little she can do. Oh, she can't even get over the front. Oh, One doing? HP. That's and that's honestly the reality of this. Um, I mean, warriors with they they have not been able to set into motion, but when you see them, when their plans are executed, it goes to the letter overt has been denying them what they wanted <laughs> sam with the two kills exactly um a little bit of a, a little bit of team kill actually you know maybe evening it out saying hey you know you, you guys you guys don't get to be the only one that can team kill but i mean this is just what i mentioned when i talked earlier about warriors attack truly being an art form is yes you know, if, if if you throw a spanner in their works and you get those early picks, it really does screw with them. But if yeah. you let them sit and and they put their plans into action, you don't stop that machine once it starts rolling. And and we saw that. They had the plot down and they watched everything. Not a single spot bomb. was not looked after, not a single defender was not considered. And that is the lethality of Warriors. Amazing. It was, it was great. Uh, something I, I noticed at the end there, and it was 
very impressive to me, is that was planned. The, you know, when you attack the side, the normal thing is you want to take Christmas control, at least have like, so you can have white door covered, you can make sure that no one can flank around from there. Um, but they left the castle barricade up, and they got a kill off it once Kortaro tried to tear it down. But what really gave the way was they didn't to go. open Christmas wall. They did have someone go down, destroy the new jammer. They even had help buy the pallet. But there must have been a call of, no, no, don't open it up. We're going to funnel them. Attackers are and it and the worked. Because Kortari went around to look at the wall to go through that rotate that she assumed would have been made. And nothing was there. So she had to didn't have time to rotate back around. So she had to open up the castle barricade. Getting killed straight up. I think that was genius by warriors to see <laughs> how the setup worked and thought hmm, okay we can we can capitalize on this it seems like a similar setup but i don't, I don't, I don't and then think this Roberta is going to allow that again this is this is the this is the moment where you know one of us gets a surprise DM from from one of the warriors playing saying actually we just forgot about the wall and we you know we just <laughs> it just it just played to our advantage we, we forgot <laughs> no, no it, it, I'm, I'm sure that it, one way or another, they'll just claim and think, yes, yes, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is definitely yeah. the plan. Hey, hey, Warriors, if any of you, if any of you watching the broadcast and that was an accident, no one knows. Just, just, it's it was fine. planned. It's it was planned. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're not going to tell anyone. <laughs> oh, that was, that was honestly a great push to watch. I very much enjoyed that song. I mean, I mean, uh, you and I both said it. This game, regardless of who wins, is going to be one hell of a game to watch. One hell of a game to pass. I'm just in awe at watching the gameplay and trying to figure out what's going on myself because if ever a game embodied the word chaos, this is certainly it. This is peak siege. It is um, very, very great to watch and it, it does seem like a very similar hole. Although Bean's downstairs helping out Kortari from a distance, but still down there giving some help. Oh, no. Oh, for a second I thought Kortari was off this. <laughs> oh, I that, like, that was... But okay, okay, yeah, Just this makes little, more sense. A little cheeky prone under piano. Do you think they'll work? Do you think they'll work? Actually, I have a question. Attackers have located the yes. bomb. If I have an answer. Time for Pi is dead. Take it back to Kotari. <laughs> Again, just Kotari and Time for Pi's fierce rivalry continues. But on a side note, do you think a WL team could get away with with sitting with the new power. I know what I know you know what I'm talking about. Sitting in the corner here. Do you think we will see it happen in the foreseeable future? And do you think it'll work? I don't think we'll see it happen. Yep. I think it could work. <laughs> I think if if given the right circumstances on the right map in, you know, uh if if you know, you, you, you let's say coastline, you know the you know the spot on coastline I'm talking about in Master. Yeah, yeah. Let's say if they're defending Hooker though. Oh yes, we'll talk about that later. Fifteen seconds remaining. Ten seconds to go. Attackers activating diffuser. But Kotari. have eyes on the diffuser. Attackers need to protect it. Oh my god. Oh, we're missing sound. Oh no, I will continue. Oh no. Right at the end, I think we lost sound. Oh. Um, but we all saw what happened. I was just sitting back enjoying. Um, oh. Honestly, oh, you just able to claw that back um i was gonna bounce things off you but i can't because the sound's not working unfortunately um oh i okay so <laughs> to recap right one thing i really really enjoyed uh watching was aj instead of using the vault rotates which are generally set up by the defense to give them the advantage if an attacker happens to use it it's very easy to capitalize on it they're not going to be able to look at you things uh Sound keeps dropping. Yeah. Oh. Now I've just reset my mic. Oh no. Defenders oh, protect no. your bombs from being diffused by attackers. Oh no. Is this a solo cast? This might be. Oh, okay. Back. Okay, oh, so cool. I think I've got it. Um when it drops out, I just I just reset my mic and uh, it goes 
Hey, hey, you know, looks like it's not just Siege with the technical errors. You know? <laughs> we can't even blame Siege. Like, Ubisoft has nothing at play. Who knows? Maybe maybe they have. Yeah, maybe it's a, someone it's at a Ubisoft conspiracy. headquarters just with a switch connected to yeah. your mic. <laughs> I, I, I like to think it's actually more of like a large red button. Kind of, you know, just sort of like a, <laughs> one of those ones with the cover on top of it. The well. little glass kit, yeah, just yeah, make sure you don't yeah, hit it yeah. accidentally. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think um, that's. I think Warriors have found the weakness of first effect. And is overt just, is it yeah. changing how they play? I mean. To give them credit where credit is due, these games are coming down to the wire, but like I said with that war of attrition, even though warriors is getting to these games that are like down to one kill, like one alive, two alive, these rounds that they are winning, um, I mean, the, sure, no one stressed to have their entire team get picked off immediately, but certainly there is a degree of, um, like I mentioned before, this element of a war of attrition. I mean, you had the numbers and you had the time, and, and they were just taking the ones. They could have sat back, they could hold, but they knew, look, we're going to eliminate a bunch of players, we're going to waste a bunch of time. We trust Ozzy. All she had to do was dance around that pillar and dance around that pillar she did. Yeah, I, I think, um, and, and you, you also mentioned it, like, no one's strats to having the, the team wiped out one by one right at the start, but you've got to in a way, you've got to plan for it. You've got to like look at your strat because everyone has their strats. Um, everyone knows what they're comfortable with, what positions they're holding, what areas they sort of should be looking at. But you've also got to assume and like, you know, uh, from a from a coaching standpoint or even a player standpoint, you got to look at it and think, okay, if this person's taken out, how do we Beans cover this? Beans crouching around. I'm interested to see. Yes, I'm seeing. I'm seeing something. I'm, I'm I've seeing just got my eye on her. In your future. <laughs> I'm seeing a C4 in your future. But I think sure. is where you. Dancing around the piano, dancing around these floors that, like, I mean, I, when you have AG on your team, you're no stranger to Nitro cells. <laughs> you, exactly, you know how they can work, and you know how to stay away from that. Um, and taking that also, evening out the numbers, keeping it balanced. Uh, but the push is coming out is very really impressive. Hyper Pi just into the middle, the side subs clearing utility, they've got their drones up, but they're not going for plant just yet. It's downstairs. Oh, I I didn't notice that. I, that is my mistake. They've definitely made a lot of headway though. Uh, a lot better than their first attack and it shows that Overt really is learning something, but they still have 33 seconds and they still have downstairs to contest. So it'll be interesting to see how much time they spend above. At what point? Like... What, where where's the limit? Where do you draw the line mm. and say we got to plant now? <laughs> yeah, I I honestly I think every team should. Sarah's off the board. AJ is just able to, to take off that. Echo and here we go. Here we have the mile. limit down. They're just going all in by funneling, and we have the most contesting. But unfortunately, there's no match capacity trapped in the rotate. She's gonna deny the plot. Operator, you are out of time. That's all it takes. She didn't even need the balls. She certainly oh. got them, but just tapping away. Zero, not wanting to die, sacrificing the plant, and I mean, keeping overt at that 1 1 ratio. It's looks like we're going to have forth. an overtime game in our future, yep. maybe. <laughs> I, I have a feeling this will be, if if we go there, this will be over second overtime game uh, in two weeks. And I, I don't think that's oh, what they, they're aiming the for. Oh, we got the finger on the table. Is this a sixth or is this the it's start It's not confirmed yet. No, new. there's the confirmation there. It's locked in. It is now locked in. Um, as I was saying before, I think every team should try to at least Attack claim to enough locate space on site to plant or, or be in the position to claim the plant space with 20 to 30 seconds left at, at, at the latest i think if you aren't in that position you've got to really step up your game and like well, that's push in and just claim thing. some space and get uh, oh, the attackers have located a frost mat under skylight this is okay um i'm gonna make my prediction i don't i don't know if they will get anyone but if that thrust mat gets someone, I'm pulling it right now, it's not going to be someone jumping from Skylight, it's going to be someone backing into it. Because yeah. as we all know, 
You know, the Five frost gnats that are just in the middle of sight, you don't see them coming. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't think we've seen warriors drop skylight at all, so I don't know if that that uh, frost map was just a. Um, Oh, we've got one left, I'm going to put it there, but I would assume one's at Cocktail Window, uh, yeah, one is at yeah. White Window, there we have being placed down. Um, well, but, as yeah. I was going to sort of say before, I... Oh no, no right. Cocktail Window, Top White. Yeah, um, as I was going to say before, I sort of um, got distracted by the Frost Mats. Uh, God, I love Frost Mats. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about Warrior's strategy of saying, actually, no, 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 we're not going to take sight and plant. I'm gonna plant and then take site. It's really yeah. interesting because you see, I mean, the defenders are saying we don't need to contest them right now. They're not on site. That diffuser goes down, and immediately you're panicking. You're getting on site, and it's just this five v five gunfight. And it's, I don't know how I feel about it. I, it's worked both in their favor and against it. But hey, if. If it, if it has results, if it works for you, then by all means, I mean, certainly we've seen some very, very interesting rounds where the plant has been taken and then, you know, um, we've just seen an absolute amazing uh, trade off done by talking about trades, Sav's lost a little bit of health, so has Frost, but again, I mean, they've got the Finker, they've got a couple health boosts in their pocket, and certainly nothing to take either of these players out of commission anytime soon. Yeah, for sure. And now Finker as well, that's permanent health if you are damaged, then it stays there, which is uh, a nice little change, which I enjoy. Since I, I, I've never been a fan of Finker, it's, you're, it always happens. You're in a gunfight, you're adjusting for your <gasps> aim, just as time for my adjusted her aim onto the head, able to claim one and just take the, take the early advantage. Um, there is one minute left, so but I'm going to see something not, step up. They're not pushing and... I think, I think we've really just cracked that formula. I mean, Warriors is going to sit here for maybe a little bit more. We're going to have a little bit of utility clear, maybe a few one-on-one -on -one trades. And unless something drastic happens, we're going to see a dramatic, sort of epic final plan. But of course, Kortari, the wild card as she always is, still with the Nitro in pocket. Warriors are playing very close together. If Kotari gets the calls, if Kotari does something, and unfortunately the Nitro is wasted, we're gonna have no. I think there's the plant coming down. Yep. Here we have the plant going, and now the gunfire is going. Kotari's downstairs. Seconds remaining. I don't know. She's heard the call. She's gonna be running back up. And here we have the glorious 5v5. What's interesting is we don't have the low numbers. We have five Warriors players on four Warriors players on board. But here we go, Time for Pi just looking for absolute dominance, continuing to just show the server who's boss. And there that's another that. attack around. Honestly... I th I th yeah, I think you have uh, defined the attacking uh, strategy un for unless, Warriors. Honestly... Overt either needs to take the fight to Warriors like they were doing at the beginning, or they need to hold sight better for all intents and purposes mm -hmm. ordinarily i and i i don't i don't have anything against the way they're playing again in ordinary circumstances these are both magnificent players and these are tried and true and tested strategies but unfortunately as we're seeing in these games are oh, no clash pick surely sarah yeah surely uh so so up to the cap can we might see a double cap can and this is exactly what i'm talking about is it might not be enough to sway anything but overt needs to do something Attackers unpredictable need to and because yeah. what worries is cracked worries is cracked that yeah, double that double cap can might be all they need of course we have no iq as warriors is successfully bringing any more they do have the drones but in the heat of the moment do they forget about that infamous double cap can instant kill yeah i i, I kind of think though right so well, every round that warriors have taken from over in, on this side have played the exact same way 100%. The exact same way. There has been no adjustment made 
and that is just at this level like Five they're the top left. two teams in the, in the league that's just not acceptable now we're seeing a, a slight alteration you know trying to clear out oh there's a shield there now okay we're seeing some alterations one thing but that I'm, i don't know if it's going to be like big enough the one thing i'm intrigued by is maybe and this might be like completely off the ball but i'm intrigued to see maybe it is actually um a sense of confidence what i mean by that is i mean overt and warriors two incredible teams that are it's not an unsafe bet to say that they're probably going to be in the top four at the end of the round robin and and this is the thing that we see time and time again. We have the top teams, whether it be Elevate, um, whether it be Nocturnal, Shadownet, you name it. Uh, sorry, Bean's taking off a little early, but uh, I didn't know my point. Really just saving their strats for those final games. And so, I, again, I might be I might be misstepping it, but I'm intrigued. Is this a lack of adaptability, or is this simply saving strats? Because... I mean, I've watched has been both Overt and Warriors play, and they've shown amazing adaptation game after game after game after game. Maybe this mm -hmm. is something like them saying, look, we're going to make finals. You're also going to make finals. It doesn't really matter what, like, if you are the top team, if you're the second team, it really doesn't matter what position you are going into finals. And maybe that's exactly what they're saying. I mean, they're definitely not throwing or inting and still have an incredible degree of sportsmanship going on as is expected with all of these WL teams. And it is great to see. I mean, surely uh, we do have um, instances in leagues here and there where people, you know, do slip and, you know, they sort of... But, I mean, we, we have a great deal of respect from all the players still shown here. But perhaps it isn't oversight, but maybe it's just saying, look, we're making finals. We kind of don't want anyone to anti-strat us. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, 100%. And, and you kind of hope that's the case uh, with these teams because we want uh, the finals is where, <laughs> you know, the bread and butter yeah. is. That is what we want to see. That is the, the, the end game, as it were. Um, we want to see the, the big, big players coming out. We want to see things that we've never even thought about. As Kortari evens out the number, but AJ wants to keep the... the yeah, they want, they want to keep the can, people on this side. And takes out Kortari while she's at it. And but Ozzy is down. Lethal. I mean, Overt's... I'm oh, sorry, Sarah Overt. Sarah's going to run up red and... Attackers they're going to hear her. They, they know. know where she is. And if Sarah dies over here, this is a 4v1. This very little psycho is going to do. And it's they're going to do their the right to here. get the plant. And unfortunately, I mean, Psycho yeah, is one hell of a gun. It's a 1v4. I... And there we have the Mirage of Grenades! <laughs> forcing her right into the crosshair oh, of the there it is. Warriors. Jesus Christ. There it is. Artillery from above. Um, but I mean, hey, that was an incredible game. It was amazing to watch both of these players go head to head, really testing each other and i have no doubt and i'm sure you have no doubt that we're gonna see them again in the finals look at those fraggers <laughs> aj 15 i believe in aj supremacy but <laughs> <laughs> i mean hey I and mean, that was a great game either way and i'm interested to see if they do have any tricks up their sleeve and i'm interested to see to any other teams watching this, any other teams that are saying, I want to make, I want to be top four. You know, I, you know, I, I reject the notion that these are the guaranteed spots. And by all means, it's such a close oh, yeah. competition. To all the WL teams that are watching, to put it quite frankly, what are you going to do about it? You've just seen the game. <laughs> what happens now? And I, I wait in anticipation. Yeah, I, I do think like this is the game everyone wants to watch. This is the game that you know it's it's top one, it's one and two. This is the the show match, as it were. Um, but you know you 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 hundred percent right in the round robin. One and two, the, the game against one and two doesn't matter. It's just a bit of a, a friendly banter game between the two. Like, oh, come on, we're going to keep, you know, or is like, we're going to keep our spot. Like, we're not going to, like, really uh, change up. Like, we're going to read what you do and we're going to just adapt to it. And, you know, it's your choice if you want to show us what you've got. Uh, if you want to hold on to it, that's that's up to you as well. Um, and I think we'll, we'll be probably seeing a game like this um, in the finals. But I, I, 
honestly, my my prediction right here is Warriors have all but locked their spot into the finals, uh, going undefeated so far in the season. I think it's the fight for you know third, second, uh, and obviously fourth as well. Um, some every team from there on has the chance to get in and subsequently get knocked out of those. No, a hundred percent. I mean, the nature of um, the, I mean, the nature of being so undisputed is that that is a weakness within itself. I mean, even gods do bleed, and the issue with a team as dominant as Warriors is they, to put it again quite bluntly, are not learning as much as other teams are from going against them. Warriors, being on top of the game, dominating team after team after team, are going to these games, and they aren't learning that much. But if you are, you know, if you're a second place team and you're a third place team, you're looking to make a little bit of an upset and maybe, you know, you've got some pocket strats, you know, tucked into your sleeve or written down, you know, maybe you've got it laminated, you study in the shower. <laughs> um, as you all, as all players do. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of yes, course. Yes. Uh, we wouldn't be players, but I mean, if you're, if you're a player and you're going against, if you're going against um, uh, warriors like this, you stand a lot to gain. And that yeah. is exactly the issue with being on top is everyone wants a piece of that pie. Yep. Uh, time for pie. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Um, anyway, um, yeah, that was, it was honestly a great game to watch. Um, and I, I'm, I'm very sad about this season that we only get to cast one game over on the stream. Um, you know, the mainstream still going if everyone wants to hop over to, to, to that side and, and continue watching. Um, as I, th I think the first game has finished. I don't think it went into as close as, as ours did. Um, yes, I just uh, saw it. it was a VA. VA took it out um, uh, against the the Rebels, which uh, if Watch you me. know, yes, if you know my connection with the Rebels, a little sad, but I also have... <laughs> if you know my I, I know, connection with Viking. Yes, <laughs> it, it, it's a bit, one of us is going to come out of this with a win. But um, it's great. I, I I honestly love the girls over at uh, Vikings. They're all great. So I mean, great that's the thing them. is... It's great to see after so many seasons of WL, you had the early seasons and it's just like, the mm. thing. there was such a skill disparity, but right now it's, it, it is anyone's game. I, I honestly, is. and I say this with like utmost truth, there's not a single team in this league that is a bad team, that is a bad player. Every single player and every single team has shown immense competitive drive. No one is here screwing around everyone is here to win yeah yep um 100 yeah everyone's coming in obviously to have fun but to take to take it out for themselves um and and as i said if you if you guys uh in who are watching right now want to see 10 of those 10 of those players still battle it out um they're they're right now over on chalet uh we've got volps and forsaken boba right now playing it That's out um i'm not gonna i'm gonna not gonna say any more than that if you're gonna you're gonna watch to find out how that one plays out um, but I think that's that's the end for us over here on the um, the better stream, the B stream. Of course, the stream. I mean, we just um, had the best match that yes, will <laughs> exactly yeah. Top one and two, obviously, the better stream takes that. Every Do we need time. more evidence? Yes. Um, so yes, from from Tick and I, uh, I, I just want to say thank you all for watching. Make sure to we've got our, our socials. Wait, I always get this one wrong. So mine's here, yeah. and yours is this way. Wait, this way. Uh, no, no other oh, other goddamn, this way. Side. There we go. There we go. Over there. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> on a quick you side note, nice. you know yeah. why oh. my name's ticked off? Because you trigger people when you go against them and shoot them with a shotgun. Nah, it's because I have Tourette's and the Tourette's things. Are oh my ticks. god! I'm ticked off. <laughs> I never, I never made the connection. <laughs> there you go. I never made the connection. <laughs> now I feel so dumb. Right. Yeah, um, but yes, back. we will uh, catch you guys next week.